Creature song. Everybody's singing today. Whoa! Oh, even Martin. And her. Another great singer, a chipmunk. The creature world is full of great singers. Loons that call across the lake. There's lots to sing about. And every creature has a different reason for singing. And there are lots of great singers around. Except one's missing. Zabu. Zabu! Zabu-mafu! Zabu! Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! Feel like singing today? How about other singers? You see anybody out there? Actually, Zabu, can you sing? You know Zabu. He doesn't talk until he's had his snack. Come on, Zabu. We have apples today. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Zabu loves apples. Everybody. It's great to see you today. That was some burp, Zabu. What'd you think of that? Yeah, I burp when I'm Vuki. Oh, brothers, look! Manga Tsika, the singing. I love the singing. So did the creature I saw. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Bird feet. Bird feet with claws. A bird body and bird wings. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Animal. He flew up on a branch and sat there, just like me. <laughs> Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a bird who likes to sit on my head. Do you know who he is? All right, so what do you think, Chris? Do you think you know who he is? Well, it's got to be a bird. Definitely. Of course, because he's covered with uh, feathers. Guys? Likes to sing. Brown and white. Uh, Chris? Stripes on his feathers. Martin? Do you know what kind of bird it is? Crat Brothers. Wow. A, a kookaburra! Manga Tsika, mystery animals here. A kookaburra is a great singer. Look at that strong, powerful beak. Yeah, that's a sure sign that a kookaburra is a predatory bird. Kookaburras eat mice, insects, fish, lizards, and other birds. Uh, wait, wait a second. They don't eat lemurs, do they? No, they just sit on lemurs' heads. Uh, 
Look at the kookaburra's nails. They're long and pointed, perfect for hanging on to branches. Check out these blue feathers on his wings. Yeah, a kookaburra has spots on his wing that are the color of the sky. What Mangatsika feathers? How about this? You want to see something really neat? Watch how when I move my arm, the kookaburra's body moves, but his head stays perfectly still. I can't believe my mind. Hey, I want to hear what the kookaburra sounds like. But he's not singing now. How come? I don't know. That's a good question, Zabu. I wish he would sing. Yeah, we might have to wait till sunset, though, because that's when kookaburras really get singing. And a lot of creatures sing at night. When it starts getting dark, that can be prime time for creature songs. Owls start hooting. <laughs> Raccoons get chortling. Oh yeah, some creatures sing all night long. And you know when they start? At sunset. Sunset? I can't wait till sunset to hear the kookaburra sing. Well, then we'll have to figure something else out, Zabu, because you have to hear the kookaburra sing. It's such an amazing song. Oh, you'll love it. Well, hey, you know, sometimes a kookaburra sings to warn other kookaburras of danger. But there's no danger here. This is Animal Junction. Oh, yeah, so that won't work. Oh. Hey, I've got another way. No, 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 this no, no, no. Tell me. Don't no, tell Zabu, me. Don't tell me. Can I can figure this. it out myself. Don't tell me. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear Martin. Come okay, on, Zabu, on, let me know if you need a little hundy, help. Hundy, hundy, hun. I can't hear Martin. I can't. Hey, where'd he go? I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm, I can't figure this out. How to get Kookaburra to sing? Well, other creatures, what makes them sing? Sometimes creatures sing to tell others where they are. Like if a coyote is separated from his group, he'll howl. <laughs> and others will howl back to let them know they're close by. That's how coyote packs stick together in their home range. Well, maybe Kookaburra isn't singing because he has no place to live. Hey, maybe if we help Kookaburra build his nest, he'll get happy and sing. Might be worth a try. Let's build a nest. Okay, all right, let's build a nest. Um, how do you build a nest? It's as easy as whistling. Oh, whistling. <laughs> Mm. If it's as easy as whistling, nest building looks pretty hard. Kookaburras peck at a termite mound until the hole is big enough to fit into. Oh, let me try. Oh, termite mounds are hard as a rock. Oh. That's because they're made of mud, sand, and termite spit that's been baked in the sun. What? Yeah, Zob, termite spit. The worker termites go out and collect mouthfuls of earth. Then they bring the dirt back, wet it with their spit, and pack it onto the mound. Then the spit dries, holding all the little pieces together, making a mound that's hard as a rock. As hard as a rock? Just about. Oh. Now that's hard. It's amazing that a kookaburra's beak and neck muscles are strong enough to bust a hole in a termite mound. Wow. Oh. Hey. Hey, Kookaburra. Watch it. I... Oh, well, it's okay. Nice nest hole. Kookaburra will sing now, won't he? No, I guess not. I'll have to think of something else. Sing like me, Cookie! Making a nest isn't the way to get a Kookaburra to sing. Okay, so you want to know how to get a kookaburra to sing? Huh? All you have to Monday, do is... Monday, I can't hear you. Well, you know Zabu. He always has to figure things out for himself. A snack. Kookaburra will sing after eating a snack. Well, just like me. I won't chat until I've had my snack. But once I've had leaves that are just right for lemur bellies, I can't stop talking. Uh -huh. So maybe Kookaburra will sing after he snacks. Now let's see, uh, there's Camel, and there's Kookaburra, and Kookaburra meat. Whoa! Whoa. Uh oh. Not hungry, huh? Hmm, so much for that idea. Any luck? No, he's not hungry, and he's still not singing. After a snack, I always feel like singing and burping. Hey. 
That reminds me of something that happened in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. Trying to find someone to sing with me. Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Google. Will you sing a song with me? Oh, but Zabu, I don't have the mood for singing. Hey, I bet I know what will make you feel like singing. Huh? Follow me. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what it could be, though. Gobble some berries, Google. Oh. That'll put you in the mood for singing. Okay, Zabu. No, yummy, but I still don't have the mood hmm, for singing. That didn't work, so I had to think of something else. Yeah. Hey, Narchi, how can I get Google to sing? Well, let's try playing Goobleberry Catch, Zabu. That'll get Google singing sure as anything. Oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh I'm, I'm ready. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Goobleberry Catch is fun and yummy, but I still don't have the mood for singing. Hmm. I know. Your voice sounds dry, Google. You must be thirsty. Yeah, yeah, I am thirsty for jelly. Then come on over. Yeah, yeah, come on over. Drink, drink. <laughs> so Google slurped up all the jelly. <laughs> Slurp and sing, yeah. Googleberry jelly. That's the thing. <laughs> Googleberry jelly. jelly. Slurp and sing, Googleberry jelly. That's so the that's thing. what made Google sing. But what about oh. Kookaburra? <laughs> How do I get him to sing? I can't figure it out. You crats have to help me. And you have to help me too. Okay, if you want to get a kookaburra to sing, all you have to do is sing, sing like, like a kookaburra. kookaburra. I knew that. All right, okay, ready? Ready. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Up. Way to go! Now I have to learn how to whistle. <laughs> Once he gets started, the kookaburra can't stop. He can't get enough of this singing. Let's join him. Come on, sing along! would make such a splash. <laughs> That's our Zabu. What a nutty lemur. <sighs> Incoming duck. It's not a duck. It's a frog. <laughs> of course, a wood frog. Another great singer. He uses his call to attract a mate. Incoming duck. 
Hey, it's a lander falcon. Wow, this is no duck. Message from Jackie. Wow, sparrows, robins, red-winged blackbirds. I love songbirds, and that's why today I made my house safer for songbirds. Windows reflect sky, which make birds think they can fly right through them, but they can't. Sometimes birds fly into windows because they can't see them and can get hurt by the glass. That's good. So the animal helpers and I put stickers of hawks on the windows so the birds know something is there. No songbird's gonna get hurt at my house. Yeah, there are lots of great singers in the creature world. But they don't always sound like who they are. Do you know who that is? Let's find out. Sounds like a trip. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Righteous. Oh. They're going on a cool Come adventure on. and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. That's our cue. See you later, Zob. Bye, guys. Hear those sounds? They're coming from an amazing creature. An elk. And the sounds that an elk makes are called bugles. So let's follow those bugles to the animal who makes them. Whoa! Hey, Chris, you hear that? I heard it loud and clear, Martin. That's one creature who chatters up a storm. A, a red, red squirrel. squirrel! And there she is! The red squirrel's chattering big time. And that's why a pine martin. The pine martin is one of the red squirrel's predators. And it looks like he's on the prowl. The red squirrel is chattering to let the pine martin know he's been spotted. The squirrel saying, I see you, and I'm fast, so don't even bother trying to catch me. When red squirrels know that a pine martin's around, it makes it harder for a pine martin to catch a squirrel. Well, it looks like the pine martin's given up. So, now it's time for the red squirrels to get back to gathering food. Yeah, pine cones. She's busy storing food, so she has plenty to eat through the winter. Hold it! We're getting distracted. I know, there are so many amazing creatures that make incredible sounds. But we have to stay focused if we're ever going to catch up to a bugling elk. I have an idea. I wonder what he has in mind. Good idea, bro! Woohoo! All right, we're kayaking downriver! OK, now I've got an idea. How about this? Let's see if by bugling like an elk, we can call an elk in. Hit it, Martin. All right, here goes. <laughs> That was the worst elk bugle I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, he doesn't think so. He must have done something right. <laughs> male elk hears another elk bugling, he comes to check it out. Males bugle during the rut or mating season, and once in a while, it can lead to an amazing antler fight. Yeah, bull elk test each other by pushing each other with their antlers. Wow. <coughs> he heard you, Martin. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, wait, what? I think that big elk is checking out your elk bugle. <laughs> oh, but I don't have any antlers to fight with. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's call in another amazing creature. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah, over here. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry! Hurry! 
Good job. <laughs> All right, just in time. Let's ride. Back to Animal Junction and Zaboomafu. Always give animals with big antlers their space. Let's do the elk bugle for Zabu. All right. Hey, that's no elk. Do you know who it is? Hey, Zabu, what are you up to? I'm not up to. I'm up on. Up on a camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this long neck. Uh -huh. I bet you a really cool song comes out of this camel. <laughs> Hey, stop. Look at this. You, got, you have camel fuzz on your face. Well, I sort of landed head first. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable, though, isn't it, up there? Sure is. Cushy. But I'm going to go down. Ready? All right. Uh, uh, oh, um, huh. Uh, Are you stuck? You want to help yeah. me get you out of there? Uh, OK, there you yeah. go. Whoa, Sabu. No, no, no. Uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Sabu? Hey, Zob! What are you doing? I'm gonna get back on that camel. Here I go! <laughs> Zob, look out for his head! Whoa! Chris Martin! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Hey, whoa! Whoa! Watch out, guys! Oh, Chris Martin! Whoa! 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 I did. Let's get you cleaned up. Towel? <laughs> he goes out and use a towel. I'm okay. I'm okay. Say, uh, do camels burp? I don't know. Well, maybe they need to eat first. Like me. <laughs> the snack machine will have something. Here you go. Thanks, Soth. Welcome. I wonder if I can hear the sounds of the camel swallowing. You can listen. definitely hear the sound of a camel chewing. Listen to that. And look how he chews, too. His mouth goes from side to side. Chris? Do you hear it? I hear food coming down. <gasps> And he makes a lot of grumbly, groany sounds. <laughs> Whoa, he does perp after all. What a song. I like to sing when I work with clay. <laughs> Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know something's wrong when Wiggy is running back and forth. What am I going to do? 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 What's the matter, Wiggy? I'm wigging out. I can't remember my Wiggy Waxwing song. I can't remember any song. Oh, well, that's too bad, Wiggy. Everybody should have a song to sing. Google has his Googleberry song. Googleberries, Googleberries, they fill my Googleberry. Googleberries, Googleberries. And Narchie? <laughs> Narchie's got his trumpet sound. <laughs> then I thought of something. What? Wiggy, what? why don't you. Oh, raps, raps, raps. <laughs> I love it. First, she sang like a rooster. <laughs> then, she sang like a coyote. <laughs> then, like an elk. And then she did the song of the kookaburra, and that made her really happy. <laughs> the end. I love how different creatures make different sounds for different reasons. My favorite part was riding the camel. How'd you get up there? On a vine. You know me. I'm a swinging lemur. <laughs> I liked when we all sang with the kookaburra. <laughs> Creature songs are great. Hey guys, I know another creature song. Let's hear it. Oh. 
This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! See you later, Donald. <laughs> Keep on singing and swinging. Let's head to Florida. Yeah, and hear the dolphins singing. We'll see, see you later. later. Hey, how do you want to get there? Well, let's go by horse, sea kayak, mountain bike, boat, bus, jeep. Yeah, I got the keys. My name is Daniel, and my dog's name is George, and I love him very much. <laughs>